Hey and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about what I think is the worst airline ever. Now have you, if you've ever been on a plane or if you've ever been on this airline you know it is the worst airline. The bottom of the entire chain and yeah I've had many bad experiences with the airline but I'm just going to be talking about one of those terrible experiences today. And yeah if you, let's, with that being said let's get started. Now, if you can't tell by the thumbnail what this airline is, it is United. United Airlines is the outright worst airline I have ever been on, and I'm going to talk about my most recent experience with it. Now, so I was flying home from Washington, D.C., back to my hometown of San Francisco, or the greater San Francisco area, and we took United because it was Thanksgiving. It was this year, this Thanksgiving. We were flying home. United was the cheapest option, and we thought, hey, why not? We just got to get home home we just had this great thanksgiving trip and now let us go back home and by the way i, I know my hair is terrible but uh no i got that cash to make up for it okay for the rest of the video i'll have this one dollar bill on my hair to make up for the bad hair but anyway so we are gonna fly home and yeah it is gonna be all good and then everything was going great we were gonna board the aircraft go home i was hyped but i did have school the next day so i was like you know whatever well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my god, this looks so weird. I look like some sort of angel. Oh, okay, but anyway, that said, let's um, let's continue and not get sidetracked. Oh my god. So we were gonna board the plane. We had all our snacks and stuff ready for the flight. I bought my magazine or whatever. I bought a book, and then the worst thing that oh my god, that dollar bill stay on my head. The worst thing that can ever happen when you're doing up on your plane before it takes off. It got delayed. I mean, this has happened every single time I have used United, but honestly, this was the most annoying because I had school the very next day, and I do not want to get home at like 5 a.m. and have to go to school at 8 a.m. So I was freaking out. It got delayed. Oh my god. You know what? I'll just, I'll, I'll just put this behind this eye for the rest of the video. There, I'll be some sort of pirate. Uh, I don't know, I'll be some sort of money sign pirate soldier. Okay, this is looks really weird. But let's continue, my god. Let me know in the comments how stupid I look wearing this. Alright, so let's continue. Wait, one, one more sidetrack note. This is all because of my bad hair. Any more videos if I try to shoot with my bad hair, I'll just keep this money note there. But anyway, so yeah, I got delayed for like 30 minutes, and that was super annoying. But then obviously, you just have to deal with it, get through it. So then we boarded the plane, obviously. And then and then we thought, okay, we're all going to get set and go. I got, I don't know, comfy. Of course, because it's United, there are absolutely zero TV. So I was like, meh, it's United. United is always trash. There is no TV so I start playing on my iPod being like bloop bloop blah 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 and start playing games and whatnot and I just gaze around reading my book but then we're starting to pull out but then suddenly we stop we don't pull out all right they say as we're pulling out we just stop and they say sorry ladies and gentlemen but it seems laddie it seems it seems it seems that one of our darn headlights is broken and i was like oh my god your headlight is broken i was like you know <clears throat> it's united you cannot expect much better you know what i'm going to note that in my eye let's see if it stays on my head but yeah so i was like it's united you cannot ex okay screw this going back into the eye that this this dollar bill though all because of my bad hair this is sad okay but anyway so i was like yeah it's united who cares the headlight is not working, so they're going to have to repair it, which they said would take like 45 minutes, alright? So, they took the 45 minutes to repair the headlights. Fine, maybe I'm over-exaggerating. Over the 30 minutes. The 30 minutes to repair the headlight, and then they re freaking repaired the headlight. Then we're like, jolly gee, we're going to be on our way. Hee-haw. So then we get going again, but then... This one is the one that, that got me completely triggered. You want United? Screw you. I hate United because of this, alright? So here's what happened. So we're getting out again because they fixed the headlight. And then, do you know what happened? The plane stopped. The pilot came on and was like, Ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry, but we are going to have another delay because apparently in the process of fixing the first headlight, we somehow managed to break the other freaking headlight. 
I mean, do you know how stupid that is? That's literally what happened. They were fixing one headlight, and in the process of fixing one of them, don't even ask me how. I have, I honestly have zero idea how you can try to fix one headlight and suddenly destroy the other. Because they said, Ladies and gentlemen, we are sorry, but while trying to fix one of the headlights, another one of the headlights has broken, and we will need to be delayed an additional 45 minutes. But get this. After they stoop, I don't really, hold on, back up. I was just at this point like, bruh, what are you doing with your life, United? You literally tried to fix one of the headlights, and then you broke the other one. I mean, if that's not sad, tell me what it is. So then, they say the 45-minute delay, then 30 minutes into the delay, the captain comes on the speaker and like, Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I am required by the FAA to give you guys a little break. If you would like, you may leave the aircraft now. And then... So they had given us a little break. Oh my god, this dollar bill is not staying there. So they given us a little break to actually get off the freaking aircraft. Because nobody wants to stay in there for like an hour. Some people, like us, we were already booking other flights. Because we were sure this thing was going to get cancelled. So we were already booking other flights. And yeah, we didn't finish booking. And then finally after an hour. So keep in mind, this whole delay had been an hour and a half. Finally they say... And ladies and gentlemen, the problem does seem to have been fixed almost, but we will need to restart the plane in order to fix it completely. So then what happened, they literally, I'm not even kidding, restarted the entire thing with us inside the uh, aircraft. They're like, please get off if you would like. Then we were about to get off, but we didn't get off in time. So then literally they restarted the entire plane, all the lights turned off and stuff. It was creepy AF, but I was like, come on, get me back home to San Francisco. And then they restarted the plane, taking another 15 minutes. At this point, we have an hour and 45 minutes. And finally, they say, ladies and gentlemen, we do think that we will be getting going. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. And it was crazy. They gave the safety video all over and again. And I was just triggered because after all this and the safety video and everything, after everything, it was a total of two hours that wasted just sitting in the plane. And I'm like... Oh my god, the mother of United, what have you done? It was just absolute sadness. And in the end, fine, I'll, I can take off my dollar bill note. Please, please don't hit me. I'll just put it on top of my microphone. But in the end, after two hours of sitting in the plane, because while trying to fix one broken thing, they broke the other, we were finally able to depart. And let me just say, the, fl the flight was not a pleasant flight. The flight attendants, as you would expect were rude and do you know what happened they legit ran out of food so they're they're supposed to serve meals and they did but they said oh sorry we only have these little kitty meals because we ran out of the other ones so not only did they uh, delay a ton but they ran out of food and it was just crazy and i'm just saying united screw you i am never going on your airline again but that's it for the video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Tell me in the comments what bad experiences have you had with United. And I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe. Goodbye, everybody.